In just its second ever edition, the Somerville yearling sale smashed last year's figures in all areas on what was a spectacular day at Park Paddocks. With the focus being on the sharper type of yearlings, 39 lots sold from 50,000 guineas or more. Topping the list was this chestnut Zooster filly who fetched 160,000 guineas. Her half-brother is in training with Chad Brown in the United States, while she'll be heading to the stables of Richard Hughes, who was delighted with his purchase. I thought she was a standout filly here. I thought she was absolutely gorgeous from the time I set eyes on her. Great movement, great quality, nice size. She's going to grow a little bit more. Sue Star is doing well. The mare is well able to throw. Probably the horse in America is probably 115, so I thought it was quite good value. The sale completed a good day for plantation stud, with the farm's only two yearlings here, both going for six-figure sums. We started knew she was a lovely filly, but uh, over the moon with that, um, it was a great price for her. She's like a queen, um, every show was the same, she was foot perfect throughout. Shalak called in earlier, um, over, the moon with, uh, over the moon with him, he sort of exceeded what we um, our expectations as well, so um, yeah, no, we're delighted. This colt by the ever-progressive stallion Memas caught the eyes of the buyers with it eventually going to Ammo Racing for 135,000 guineas. The Memas colt, well, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I've been lucky with Memas. I've been very lucky and I've got, you know, Persian Force and uh, all the Memas I bought. I think I just had one unlucky one, so very happy with him. The colt was homebred by Lawrence Gleeson of Orgamore Stud, who bought his dam for just six and a half thousand guineas as a three-year-old in 2015. He was a beautiful horse. We knew we were coming here with a with a nice horse, but you know, you just can never expect that. But you know, he showed so well. It helped that Mayamas had the winner of the Haydock Sprint with Minzal just before uh, the sale, and fair play to Tats. There was it was very busy here. Uh, the footfall was very, was very good and yeah, he showed very well. Expected to be one of the highlights of the day's sale, this son of Star Spangled Banner lived up to expectations, fetching 130,000 guineas for Ballyhimmican stud. He was bought by agent and Team Valley Racing's manager, Richard Ryan. Well, it was a very quick and easy decision um, on first inspection. He, he bowled out of the box and just strode and shone Great step to him, very well presented by the vendor. Um, he was a clear standout in, in the sale for me. It's a great solid family, great stallion, very good individual, very strong, um, looks mentally forward enough to make a solid two-year-old, so fingers crossed. Last year's sale produced Group 2 Coventry winner Brad Sill, and his connections were successful on a number of lots today, topped by this plantation stud colt by Shalar. This one actually fits the bill, I think, from uh, the dam side and being a shell uh, He was quite athletic. I thought he was going to be popular and he proved to be so. This footsteps in the sand colt, sold by Nocaterina House stud, went to father-son duo Roger and Ben Brookhouse. Out of a listed place Galileo mare, the colt will help kickstart Ben's new training career, having cost 90,000 guineas. So all in all, a hugely successful day, with the Tattersall's marketing director, Jimmy George, delighted with the popularity of this relatively new sale. Yeah, very good sale today. It's only the second Tattersall Somerville yearling sale that we've had, and last year's inaugural sale was a great success. So to see the figures go up as much as they have has been great for all concerned. I mean, the, the average and the median went up in excess of 40%, both of them. The turnover went up from just under 5 million guineas last year to well over 7.5 million guineas this year. All of these figures suggest a very, very strong sale, and uh, it felt properly vibrant from start to finish and I think that was uh, uh, reflected in those statistics. From the word go, when the guys were out inspecting yearlings back in the spring it became readily apparent that there was a real appetite for this sale, a real enthusiasm for this sale from consigners throughout Britain and Ireland and they sent us exactly the right profile of yearling, the, the profile that we wanted, sharp, commercial, precocious yearlings that will go on and, and do what the buyers here expect them to do which is win nice two-year-old races next year and hopefully they There'll be another Bradsell in there who won the Coventry Stakes at Royal Ascot this year. He came from the inaugural Somerville yearling sale last year and, uh, you know, indicative of the sort of, of sort of yearlings that the buyers are, are expecting to find and I think they have found them. The day was punctuated by some spectacular pin hooking successes and another indicator of, of the strength of the trade was the number of 50,000 guineas plus 
yearlings. That went up from 17 last year to 39 this year, which is a huge rise. And obviously the sale topping Zoo Star Philly, 160,000 guineas. That's a, that's a record for the fixture, obviously only in the second year, but a wide margin record for the Tattersall Somerville yearling sale and one of four six-figure yearlings to sell today, up from just the one last year. So yeah, progress all round.